Good evening, everybody, and uh, welcome to the stream. I'm Jeff Rodolza, producer of Franchise Hockey Manager. Uh, Adam, who our community manager, who normally uh, does these with me, is uh, off at the uh, Jets uh, playoff opener tonight, and I'm assuming he's fairly happy because they're up one nothing at the end of two periods. So we're going to do something uh, slightly different tonight. Instead of uh, playing a game ourselves, uh, what I've got here is a game we set up with the uh, actual 2019 NHL uh, playoff matchups and the current rosters, uh, or at least as close as I can uh, reasonably get them. We did this on the weekend, actually, for the NHL Network uh, for their predictions. Uh, in that one, we wound up with uh, Tampa winning, I think it was about around 50 simulations, uh, and Tampa won about a third of them. So I guess they, that would put them as the favorite. Hey, Guru. And uh, So that so the official uh, prediction is Tampa, and I think uh, if I'm remembering correctly, Braden Point was the guy who got wound up winning the Conn Smythe most often. So, but I figured we'll just to play out one variation uh, on our own here, and just go through it uh, fairly slowly uh, over the course of the hour, round by round, and game by game. Uh, just to set up how we how we did this. This isn't anything. This is kind of a hack. Uh, you can see if I look on the standing screen, there's actually a season played out here with a uh, full, hang on a sec, full stats and whatnot. And Phil Kessel hilariously leading the league in points. But uh, what uh, Malta has done for me is just go in and edit the play edit the, the uh, playoff setup so it's got the correct matchups round by round and everybody's got the right home team, eh, you know, home ice advantage and so on as we go through the rounds. Um, and uh, so just basically ignore any stats you see regular season stats we'll forget about that uh, this is how we do the how we set up a playoff simulation we're kind of hoping to do something similar uh, well maybe without the uh, without needing the uh, whole uh, simulate the fake regular season first in the first place for next year I've been talking about that and doing something similar to out of the parks ex exhibition mode where you can uh, set up a playoff and uh, play that out just independently of anything else uh, without having to do the whole season because it would save us a heck of a lot of your work every year when we have to do it for the NHL uh, network and anybody else who wants a prediction. So uh, with that said, uh, let's get underway. I'm going to do this from the schedule screen mostly. I think we have to, we're not quite up to the uh, 12th. Oh, actually, are we a day? Okay, yeah, we're, it looks like we some of the dates got screwed up. We're two days uh, later than what we should be. So the games that are going on tonight are actually happening on the 12th uh, in the game. And you can see the awards winners and whatnot from the fake season uh, are in there. Okay, back to the playoffs, and yeah, we should be ready to go. Now, there we go. Okay, Columbus... Uh, Tampa, we'll do that one first, since uh, that one's already over in real life. Uh, actually, I should flip over and pay attention to what's going on on the actual NHL. It looks like the the Islanders are up uh, over Pittsburgh, go late and they're halfway through the third, and oh, it's St. Louis tied Winnipeg, and Nashville up one nothing early in the first in Dallas, and uh, surprisingly, uh, Columbus bounced back. I think they had a three goal deficit, came back from that, and beat Tampa Bay in the uh, opener there. And Vegas San Jose isn't underway yet, so I'm I don't have Adam here, so I'm trying to keep uh, tabs on all of that and the uh, chat room and everything too. So bear with me if I'm not that quick to respond to anything. So Bobrovsky Vasilyevsky, not that surprising for the starters, and we'll just send that out. And in our game, Tampa winds up they hold the. Uh, got a, had a two had a two goal lead and kept it instead of losing a three goal lead and then three one win for Tampa in game one. Incidentally, uh, we had a uh, hot fix update uh, out uh, yesterday that uh, fixes a couple of small problems with the final uh, update to the game. It was mainly in uh, main issues were with uh, fictional games. It wasn't starting properly if you selected a team to be employed with right from the start of the game and. Uh, what else was it in? The two, the three big ones were that uh, problem with multiplayer news, 
and uh, trainers not getting uh, generated uh, after a while in uh, longer term games, which would mainly be evident in uh, historical games or if you played a modern game up into the uh, uh, 2050s or so. Yeah, Waffle Lover, it's, yeah, it's Bobrovsky, though. You never know what you're going to get from him. Okay, Pittsburgh and the Islanders. The Islanders come up with a win there, so that matches what's happening in the game right now. Stars and Predators. Predators are up 1-0 uh, at the moment, last time I checked. And Dallas uh, picks up an overtime win here. Leafs and Bruins. Adam would want the Bruins to win this, uh, but no, 4-2 win for Boston. Uh, Bergeron gets a couple of points. And you can see our schedule isn't exactly matching the day-to-day -day schedule of the NHL. Uh, Want to work, hopefully work on that for next year a little so we can get them staggered for TV the way the real ones are. This way it's just playing a game, you know, every team every team plays on the uh, same days. Calgary, Colorado should be an easy win for Calgary. Three to two win. And Blues Jets, where Adam is at at the moment and probably not too happy that the Blues have tied it up. And he definitely wouldn't have been happy here as the Blues win six to three. And, wow, Mike Delzato gets back into the lineup and uh, winds up with the first star. Carolina, Washington. And I figure Washington's a winner here. And the one thing we can't, uh, I'd like to be able to do with these as well is to reset the hotness ratings on goalies at the start of that. Uh, Caps win 3-2 here, and you see hope he's got four uh, because that's just the way it wound up at the end of our... Uh, Set the, the game we used to set it up. So that's a little bit of a glitch there. I wouldn't I'd rather not that be there. And San Jose and Vegas. Can Vegas do it again this year? Uh, not according to game one. Easy 5-1 win. Joe Pavelski, the first star. And advance it a day. And Columbus and Tampa Bay. I think we should really add uh, current status to these. We're going to be, I think we're going to be working and reworking the uh, schedule screen in general. So as you mentioned, he's maybe pulling some stuff out of uh, out of the park, although I'm not sure the league one is going to change too much, but the individual team one probably will for FHM 6. And in game two, a little closer, but Tampa wins that one too. So up to nothing there. Islanders and Penguins game two. Wow, shootout, 7-6 Penguins. Malkin with the hat trick. Uh, that series is even at two now. Dallas and Nashville. Overtime win for Nashville. I think that happened in game one as well, but they're up 2 nothing now. Leafs and Bruins, can the Leafs bounce back? And they do in overtime. With, oh, Matthews gets the goal five minutes into overtime to tie that series up. I'm awful saying in the chat, uh, Penguins have tied it, so that's going to be a good series, I think. And Calgary surprisingly loses 5-4, hands the home ice advantage uh, in the first round to Colorado. Colorado, uh, when I was doing the tests, these tended to overperform a lot, so I'm wondering if we needed maybe to knock their ratings back down a little bit. 
although they were doing well in mid-season uh, and just kind of tailed off towards the end, if I remember right. St. Louis, Winnipeg, game two. Can the Jets come back? And no, they cannot. Uh, down 2 nothing. Good thing Adam isn't here to see this. Carolina, Washington. And Carolina with the upset. Three to two. So all fairly close series so far. Uh, I don't want to talk about the draft law for the lottery, Gudu. Canucks naturally moved down again. Tenth overall. And Vegas at San Jose. And Vegas again loses a little closer this time, three to two. But New Jersey, if you once you add Hughes in there, they're going to be a little bit scary in uh, two, three years. They already had a decent young core. She had kind of an off season last year. Yeah, although the Hawks are still such a mess with the uh, cap. Uh, not sure how much. I guess they'll get uh, Kako, the Finnish guy. They're going to look different uh, in a few years, but I know there's still a lot of money tied up in older guys. Tampa and Columbus. Game three, and uh, Columbus does pull out a win here. Bobrovsky, despite being stone cold, comes up with a 4-1 win. Islanders at Pittsburgh. Tied at one. And Crosby leading uh, Penguins to a 5-2 win. Get up 2-1 to one there. Oh, Dallas won the first one in overtime. So that's uh, series is tied. And... Nashville gets that, 6-3 uh, to move up 2-1. to one. See if the Leafs can get ahead here, and they do. 4-3 overtime win. In Toronto, John Tavares with three points. And Islanders and Penguins going into overtime in real life. Yes. Calgary, Colorado. And Calgary gets back in front with a 4-2 win. And Jets and Blues. Uh, Winnipeg's got to do something here. There we go. Finally, Winnipeg 3-1 in St. Louis. Hellebuck uh, looks like he had a pretty good game. 35 saves and 36 shots. And Washington, Carolina. See if the Caps can bounce back, and they do with a 3-2 overtime win. That's been a super close series. Uh, all three games decided by one goal. And San Jose and Vegas. Vegas uh, finally gets a win, 3-1 to one at home. And is anybody, nope, nobody is going to sweep this first round. Uh, all the series are a 2 to 1 right now. Oh, well, we do have uh, injuries turned off in this for the uh, purposes of the simulation, although we do have. This is the players who are actually injured at the start of the playoffs uh, are set up as injured in this, so they won't be used until a little later. Um, erratic, yeah, we're probably going to have a sale coming up uh, shortly. I just, I'm not sure of the exact timing on it yet. Normally we do it for the playoffs, but we're going to do the sale, I think, slightly differently this year, and then trying to work out when to do the uh, summer price drop as well. But it will be coming up, yeah. And Tampa, 6-4 win. That gets them up 3-2, to two, so Columbus is in pretty big trouble now. 
Islanders and Penguins, and the Islanders split out in 2-1 to one to keep that one tied. Nashville Dallas game four. And Dallas ties it up as well. 5 3 win. Bruins and the Leafs. Can the Leafs go up 3 to 1? And no, they can't. 3 to 2 uh, in overtime. I'll take a look at the uh, stats after the first round's done and see how if anybody's breaking out. Calgary, Colorado, and wow, Colorado 7 4. Blowout win almost over Calgary. So that one's back to three game, back uh, tied again. And can the Blue or can the Jets tie their series up? And they can, two to one win. So they're playing a lot better on the road, apparently. Which will thrill Adam all the money he spent on playoff tickets. Uh, Washington, Carolina. And Cap screws to a 5-2 win, so they're up 3-1. to one. San Jose and Vegas. Eric Carlson pays off, and uh, the Sharks get a 4-3 win in overtime. So we have one, two, three series potentially ending next, but everything else is... Uh, tied at two games apiece and will now be best of three series. Columbus and Tampa trying to finish that one off, but Columbus hangs on to force a game six, three to two win, Matt Duchesne on, in on all the goals. Penguins and the Islanders. And the Islanders uh, bounce back, a three to two win. So that is, are they up three to two now? Uh, one. Yeah, Islanders are up three to two in that series. Uh, no, Adam doesn't have season tickets. He lives a little uh, out of Winnipeg, so it's not really practical for him. But uh, I think he, uh, he usually gets a package, if I remember right. And I think he's splitting that with a few people, but uh, he's definitely there for the playoffs. Dallas, Dallas, Nashville. Uh, Nashville wins that four to three. I think uh, they're up three to two there. And the Leafs and Bruins. Can the Leafs get back ahead? And no, Boston up two to one. Rask is cold. Uh, and Marchand did on both uh, the Boston goals. Colorado and Calgary. That surprising uh, result. Wow, in Colorado, see, I, I mean, there we go again. Colorado overperforming, 6-1 win over Calgary. you got to wonder what the Flames are going to do here. They're down 3-2 to two now, so in pretty big trouble. And can the Jets pull ahead here? And they can, 4-1 to one win. So Hellebuck, uh, after a rough start, is within three goals in the last three games. Carolina, Washington. Carolina stays off elimination, 3-1. to one. And Vegas-San Jose, last chance for one series to be over here. And it is. Uh, San Jose comes up with a 4-2 win behind Pavelski's hat trick. Marc-Andre Fleury in goal for Vegas, but it's not enough. And uh, that is our first series done. So San Jose off to the second round against possibly Colorado. Everybody else is in going into game six. Okay, Tampa and Columbus. Can Tampa end it here? Nope, Seneca Columbus forcing game seven, surprisingly. Really surprised by that. And Columbus almost never won uh, when I did the 50 simulations of this earlier. Islanders trying to finish off Pittsburgh, but they get crushed seven to four. Crosby, I think, seems to be having a really big series for Pittsburgh. 
Jets lose. Can the Jets do it? Nope. In overtime, uh, they lose 4-3. to three. And there'll be a Game 7 there as well. Pretty good first round so far. And the Bruins are up here. And the Bruins knock out Toronto with a 6-3 win. So all that money spent and Toronto's out in the first round. Calgary, Colorado. And the Flames do force a game seven there at least, so that might not be an upset. Caps and Hurricanes. And Washington finishes it with a close two to one win. Alexander Ovechkin gets both goals. So Washington's still uh, in the hunt to defend their championship from last year. Nashville and Dallas, and Nashville wins it, and yeah, I think that ends it. That's Dallas out, so the playoff standings looking like this now. Colorado, Calgary, Colorado and Calgary, St. Louis, Winnipeg, and oh, uh, Columbus and Tampa, and Pittsburgh and the Islanders are the only teams going into uh, Game 7, everything else decided. Okay, Columbus and Tampa. Bobrovsky still cold, Vasilevsky still hot. And can Tampa avoid getting no and they don't. Wow. Columbus comes up with a 6-3 upset win. Cam Atkinson four points and the Lightning regular season leaders and odds on favorite from pretty much everybody. I think EA put out their prediction uh earlier today and said to Tampa as well, but then this one, they're out. And Penguins Islanders. And the Islanders come up with a 4-2 win to knock Pittsburgh out as well. Colorado Calgary. Let's see if we can get another upset here. Nope, the Flames just barely make it out. Uh, James Neal gets a couple of points for them as they win 2-1. So they're on to the second round. And Blues and Jets. Uh, looks like Jake Allen has cooled off slightly. And the Jets do pull it out. A 4-1 win. Kevin Hayes. Uh, trade paid off, I guess. Uh, he gets two goals for him. And on to the next day. We should just get a second round matchup list here. There we go. Sharks and Calgary, uh, I don't know, Calgary had trouble putting away Colorado, so you got to wonder uh, if San Jose hasn't got a decent shot finally at making it, but we pretty much say that every year about San Jose. And uh, Jets and Nashville should be a good series, but uh, I think Nashville's looking a little stronger right now. The uh, Blue Jackets with a good, big upset uh, are going to be tough against the Bruins. And Caps and Islanders, which should be a pretty good series, but you gotta like or gotta like the Caps there, I think. And take a quick look at the playoff stats. And yeah, okay, that's uh, what nearly did Calgary in there. Nathan McKinnon, 13 points in seven games. Yeah, that whole first line, Ranton and two, Landis Gog, they're all up there. Uh, Cam Atkinson with that one big game, I think, kind of in the final game seven, bumped him up. But Aaron doing pretty well too. Beauvillier from the Islanders, nine points in seven games, it's a bit of a surprise. And having a look at the goalies, starting by save percentage, uh, Hellebuck after those first couple of games turns out he's the hottest guy in the uh, league right now. Nine thirty save percentage for the series. Uh, maybe the Jets have a shot here, but let's get into round two. Columbus Bruins opening game and an easy 5-1 win for Boston. Petrie's Bergeron with three points. Islanders and Capitals. 
And the Islanders surprised Washington with a 3-2 overtime win. Ah, yeah, Gouda, don't even say that. That's sacrilege. Shoots and shootouts in the playoffs. Nah. -uh. San Jose and Calgary. And the Shark here, the Flames come up with the 3-2 win in overtime. Uh, still hope of a Canadian Cup champion here. Maybe even an all-Canadian final in the West. If Winnipeg can win, but they lose in overtime in game one. Game two, can San Jose turn it around here, or Columbus rather, turn it around here, and they do, 4-3 to three win. So can they get a second upset here? Islanders and Capitals. Easy win for the Capitals this time. That one is even now as well. San Jose and Calgary. Wow, Calgary cruises to a 6-1 win in Game 2, so they're up 2-0 now. Johnny Gaudreau, 4 points. Yeah, getting a lot of this... I mean, there's been a few blowouts in this, but a lot of uh, one-goal games, a lot of overtimes. And Winnipeg gets shut down by Pekka Rinne, 5 nothing. So that's not good news for them. Uh, down 2 nothing. that's... After the first two games of this series, the Western teams are both 2-0, uh, but the Eastern ones are split. Well, good even if I uh, don't take the blame for it, uh, Adam will blame me anyhow. <laughs> Bruins and uh, Blue Jackets, game three, and Columbus wins again, and they're up 3-2 now. Atkinson with another two points. Red hot in the playoffs. Washington and the Islanders, series tied at one, and Washington narrowly gets it to another 3-2 game. TJ Oshie with a big game this time, three points. Yeah, Calgary go up 3-0 over San Jose. They can. 5-4 overtime win. Johnny Gaudreau with another couple of points. He's having a big series. David Riddich. Whoa, how many overtimes was this? Look at the shots against on uh, Calgary. 69. Second overtime. Uh, and probably late in the second overtime, too. No, 440. No, fairly early. Just uh, San Jose put a ton of shots on him. And Winnipeg and Nashville. Winnipeg's got to get a win here. And they do. 6-5. Narrowly. Ehlers gets the hat trick. So Calgary is the only team left in position to sweep. Everybody else is going into game four with a 2-1 to one lead. A little bit of a delay there as we switched over the month, but... Okay, Bruins and San Jose. Bruins really need a win here. But they lose 3-1. to one. San Jose, or why do I keep saying San Jose for Columbus? It's Columbus. Bobrovsky, 42 save shutout. Wow. And the Blue Jackets are up 3-2. to two. Uh, P-Walk, haven't heard anything new about the uh, football game yet. Uh, Jim is still working away on it. I know they're definitely making progress there. And the Islanders, 5-2 to two to tie that one at 2. Calgary, San Jose. Can Calgary sweep? And they do. I think I called San Jose as a favorite on that, that, in that one. Guess not. Uh, TJ Brody with two goals and the Flames sweep the Sharks out of the playoffs. And I'm awful lover mentioning in chat, uh, Blues are up over uh, Jets in real life. Can the Jets do any better in this game? 
Nope, uh, Pecorine, 3 nothing shutout, and Nashville is up three games to one. So maybe we're not going to get any Game 7s in this one, because we've got uh, two series up 3-2, to two, and, well, Islanders and Caps might go, and we can get the one sweep. But Nashville and Columbus ready to finish things off, too. Can Columbus pull off the second upset in a row? And they can. 3-2 to win. Josh Anderson this time. Two goals. Bobrovsky another good game. He's starting to heat up now. And the Bruins are out. And San Jose, or Columbus. San Jose, I did it again. On to the Eastern Final. Islanders and Capitals. Islanders take a 3-2 lead with a 2-1 to win. Eberle with a couple of points. Good big game guy. And Jets are in trouble here, and they are done. So double blow from Adam. Uh, they're going to lose game one in real life, and they're out of the second round here to Nashville. So we've only got one series going at this point, just the Islanders and Capitals. Uh, do I like the Sharks, Guru? Nothing in particular against them. Like the more when Larionov was there. Oops, what am I doing here? And Capitals and the Islanders. Islanders trying to end it. Capitals trying to force Game 7 and the Islanders win in overtime. So despite losing John Tavares, the Islanders are going to an Eastern Final, and it's going to be against Columbus. They've actually got a good shot at making it to the Finals. And I'm just going to advance this a day to get the screen set up. So just recapping uh, what's happened so far. Calgary out in the uh, Calgary past Colorado narrowly in the first round. Uh, San Jose over Vegas in the first, uh, Vegas, and then Calgary winds up sweeping uh, San Jose to make the Western final. Nashville over Dallas in the first round, and uh, Winnipeg coming back from a two nothing deficit to beat St. Louis in the first round. Uh, Nashville uh, knocking them off though, and to wind up against Calgary in the final. So still got a chance for the Canadian team in the Cup. And in the East, uh, Columbus, two upsets in a row. First, the Lightning and then the Bruins. Cruising past the Bruins in five games. The, the, Columbus, the Lightning one was at least tough on them. Um, when Bruins had beaten the Leafs in the opening round. Carolina and Washington. Washington uh, won the first round. Uh, Islanders were back and forth with Pittsburgh, uh, but came out of it on top there and then managed to knock off the Capitals in six rounds so no cup defense for washington and we get a really unlikely columbus islanders eastern final and calgary and nashville were at least top seeds so that's not that surprising but on the other side didn't see that coming so you don't wonder if the western team is going to be on easy mode in the finals here okay start of the conference finals and Columbus just keeps winning. Bobrovsky's actually cooled down slightly, uh, but comes up with a 4-1 win. Boone Jenner with two goals. Preds and Calgary. Nashville, uh, overtime winner. Looks like Dan Ellis or Ryan Ellis rather got it uh, for them. So one nothing needing lead for Nashville. I'm just ignoring the mail in this since I'm not actually uh, playing in this one. Columbus and the Islanders. Can Columbus keep rolling? They do. 4-2. to two. Borowski, another solid game just despite not getting that hot. Uh, Bovillier, another couple of points for the Islanders, but it's not enough.
Nashville, Calgary. And Nashville wins again, a 3-1. to one. Yarncock, who's in our uh, other game um, that we play on alternate weeks, uh, playing for our Quebec expansion team, is the big guy here, three assists, to put Nashville up two games uh, to nothing. Uh, Gudu, if you haven't played that recently, that was there's a bug with there was a bug with the uh, upcoming draft picks. If you the next time you reload the game, if you assuming you've updated, it should be fixed. It was just a weird thing where they were not sure exactly why it's doing it, but periodically the uh, game will just lose the uh, draft picks from the upcoming year in the interface. The draft will still happen, but you won't be able to trade them or do anything like that with them. But we do have but saving and reloading now will fix it after the update. The yesterday's hotfix update, I mean. Yeah, it should be fine the next time you log into that. Columbus and the Islanders. Can the Islanders at least get one win here? Nope. Uh, is Columbus going to sweep their way to the cup? 5-2. to two. Calgary and Nashville trying, Calgary trying to get back into this, but nope, Rene with another shutout. Wow, 48 save shutout. And Calgary, uh, both series on the verge of being sweeps after all those uh, seven game first rounds. Now we're getting sweeps everywhere. Let's see if somebody can force a game five. But it won't be the Islanders because Columbus wins three to two. And the Islanders are out. So Columbus in the finals. And Calgary manages to stave off the sweep. Four to three overtime win. Double overtime win. Zarnik gets it with uh, three minutes in, yeah, three minutes into the second overtime. So Calgary not completely dead, dead yet. Riddich and Rene both red hot. But Calgary loses 3-2 in game 5. Philip Forsberg first start with 2 points. Uh, how did that end? Oh no, they, Nashville was up early. Calgary almost got back into it. But Nashville Columbus final, all expansion. And taking a quick look going into the final at the player and uh, the playoff stats at this point. Oops. Philip Forsberg, uh, he did pretty well in the uh, earlier simulations. I ran to uh, leading the scoring, 22 points. Panarin doing pretty well too. Johansson, Barzo. You see Atkinson, who's got most of his points from about two or three games, I think. And Duchesne uh, proving to be a pretty good pick. So all those trade deadline deals the uh, Jackets made apparently paying off. And since we're in the final, I think we'll let these uh, watch these play out. And Islanders OT win in game one in real life. Yeah, it'd be nice to see the Islanders get out after the stuff they've gone through the last few years and then losing Tavares this year. It'd be cool to see them win at least a couple of series. Even take a run at it. And we're going to watch this one. Uh, I'm not sure what I've got my options set at. And yeah, I'll leave the sound on mute so we don't deafen everybody with the goal horn. But we'll just watch the goal highlights. 
Not much going on early in this one. Columbus and Nashville. Columbus again with the early advantage in shots. I'm, I'm really surprised Columbus is doing so well in this. But Kyle Turris opens the scoring up for Nashville. Oops, I've still got this in debug mode. Could have taken that out. Duchesne ties it up. But yeah, when, we, when I did all the uh, simulations for the NHL stuff, uh, NHL Network stuff, I think Columbus was had the worst overall performance in the first round, and here they go. Uh, making it all the way to the finals in this one. 1-1 one, one game. Columbus finally takes the first penalty of the game midway through the second. Nothing happening on it. Uh, no good. I think technically I have to be in control of a team for that to happen. I'm still way ahead of Adam though, so I don't have to worry about it too much. And Anderson makes a 2-1 for Columbus. Winding down, and Rene lets in another one. Didn't see who got that. Oh, it was DeShane. Second goal of the game. Taking down Columbus has dominated Nashville in this first one, and Matt DeShane gets the hat trick. Five seconds left. I uh, don't know if that was into the empty, the, uh, an empty net. No, Rene was still in goal at that point. So Matt DeShane with a big hat trick in game one to keep Columbus's improbable run rolling. Whoops, I screwed up. I knew I was I'm surprised I made it that far. We missed a couple of games there. I play until next game instead of play until next day. So we missed two games, but uh, Columbus is now up two to one. Let's just take a look at what actually happened in those games. Game two, five two win for Nashville. So they apparently bounced back pretty well. Yeah, Ellis had a couple of goals. Bobrovsky got, uh, yeah, 42 game rating. He got lit up a little bit. And game three, oh, defensive struggle. one nothing uh, regulation win. So Brovsky comes back with a shutout. At least I'm assuming it was him. Yep, 34 save shutout. Next day, not next game. Okay. Game four. As Nashville tries to even it up on the road. Columbus getting a bunch of shots on a power play there, but didn't get anything. Ben uh, Ryan Johansson makes it 1 nothing Nashville. We're going to get another one. No, Forsberg makes it 2 nothing. And right back for Dubois to make it 2 to 1. So after that one nothing game in game four, they're starting to score again. Uh, let's tighten up a little bit here. Austin Watson, three to one uh, Nashville. So at least we're going to get a decent series out of the final, it looks like. Two man advantage there for Nashville, but they couldn't do anything with it. And that one will end three to one. No, period will end three to one, not the uh, game. And Felino gets Columbus back within one goal. Can they tie it up? Nope. Uh, Nashville making it four to two. And it looks like they're going to hang on for this one. Yep. 
Ford 2, so the tough final is now tied at two games each. Game three back in Nashville. Another quiet start. That went in to end and back and forth. And finally, Duchesne gets it uh, to make it one nothing for Columbus. Looks like they may be in Trenot. Tourist ties it up. Very close first period so far. Still pretty tight halfway through the second. No goal, no more goals yet. Not that many shots, although Nashville picked it up a little bit there and then the, another two-man advantage that Columbus couldn't capitalize on. Back and forth, but still tied at one through two. Very close final. Nashville looks like they've got a little bit of an edge here, but haven't been able to do anything and with it, and Panarin makes it 2-1. to one. Nashville desperately needs one late here. But their offense seems to have slowed down a little bit. And nope. They don't get a 2-1 to one Columbus. Up 3-2, to two. Columbus one game away from a Stanley Cup final upset. Could possibly have the end here. Game six in Columbus. Columbus needs to win this to finish this off. And Panarin puts them up one nothing. Good start, and they were really heavily out shooting Nashville out at the start of that game. And they hold the lead through the end of the first period, and they dominated that first period, 14-5 to five on shots. Nashville needs to do something here. But no, Nudavara makes it 2 to nothing. Nashville in huge trouble. Finally getting some offense. They had a bunch of shots there, but didn't do anything with them. The clock is winding down. And generating shots, but Bravun Bobrovsky's not letting anything in. Two nothing halfway through the third period, game six of the finals. Huge upset in the making for Columbus. And Anderson makes it three nothing. Oh no, the Nashville gets a quick goal back, so not quite over yet. Now it is. Cam Atkinson makes it 4-1. to one. And the Columbus Blue Jackets with their first Stanley Cup. Three upsets in a row. No, four upsets in a row. And the Conn Smythe Trophy goes to Panarin. Pretty good way for him to go into free agency, I imagine. And there we have it, the final shot of the our unofficial uh, 2019 playoff simulation. I don't think I'd want to publicize this one too much, but uh, yeah, wow. Not who I expected in the final. But it made for a fairly entertaining uh, playoff, at least. Take a quick look at the uh, playoff stats. Oops, not the team stats. Oh 
yeah, Panarin uh, leading the playoffs, 27 points, plus 14. Yeah, Gudu, you got a better, you would have got better odds on that after they or before they won Game One. I'll take a quick look at the Stanley Cup champion Columbus Blue Jackets and what their roster did stats-wise in the playoffs. So yeah, a lot of production out of the first line and pretty solid secondary scoring too. Dubois, Jenner, not a ton of points out of the D. Rick Nash, or no, sorry, that's Riley Nash, duh. And Bobrovsky plays every minute. Of the playoffs, you can see the stats down at their bottom. 228 goals against the average, 932 save percentage. I know you would have been a pretty good candidate for Con Smythe, too. Maybe you ought to look at the uh, Smythe. Uh, the way the Smythe Award is looking at uh, playoff MVP is looking at uh, goalies. Might need to improve that a little bit because that's a pretty spectacular playoff for him. There we go. I think that would actually be the uh, first cup for pretty much almost everybody here. Up and you know. But you got to imagine Deshane is pretty happy after uh, leaving Ottawa mid soon at the deadline and winding in Columbus and getting a cup out of it. But uh, I guess so. We're you know, almost at the hour here, so I'll wrap it up. Uh, we will, if uh, as I mentioned earlier, we got a new hotfix update out for FHM5. If you haven't seen that yet, uh, that fixes a few problems. One of them, one that, in addition to the other stuff I mentioned earlier, also the issue with uh, disappearing draft picks. So uh, grab that if you haven't already. That uh, just came out yesterday. Otherwise, we will be back next week with our uh, Adam will be assuming the Jets aren't playing on Wednesday. I don't think they're scheduled to. Uh, we'll be back with his uh, Quebec Nordiques uh, ongoing game where we're still trying to win him his first Stanley Cup. I've got plenty. He's still working on number one. I know he'll love to hear that. But uh, thanks everybody for coming out and uh, we will see you in a week.